you finally settled your medical malpractice case. How do you know when the insurance company is going to send your attorney your check? Would you like to learn the answer? Come join me for a moment as I share with you some great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. All right, you finally decided to settle your case. The defense made a very significant offer, and together with your attorney, you agree that this is the best resolution for you and your case. All right, how do you know when the defense is going to actually send the insurance company settlement check to your attorney? I'll tell you how. There's a couple of procedures that have to happen first before you actually get your settlement check. The first thing that you have to do is you have to sign two documents. The first one is known as a general release. That's a document that basically says you give up your right to continue this lawsuit, you give up your right to do anything else and sue this doctor or this hospital staff, and in exchange, we agree to give you this amount of money. In that instance, now when you go ahead and sign it, you are basically saying this case is now over for all intents and purposes, and you cannot come back at a later time and reopen this case. So you are giving up that right in order for you to go ahead and get that settlement money. All right, what happens next? You will also have to sign a document called a hold harmless agreement. Now, what does that mean? It means that if Medicare or Medicaid or a doctor or somebody else comes and says, hey, listen, you owe me X amount of dollars for all of the care and treatment that we provided to you because of the injuries you suffered at the hands of this careless doctor. Now, if we, the insurance company, are now going to be responsible to pay that, you, the injured patient, are now going to be on the hook to repay us that amount of money. That's called a hold harmless agreement. And you will have to sign that in order to get your settlement money. Okay? And there's one more document you need to know about. That's called a stipulation of discontinuance. But that you don't have to sign. Instead, that's a document that the attorneys sign, and we submit that to the court. And what that does is it notifies the court that your case has been settled. Your case is now over and it no longer has to proceed forward through the litigation process and we certainly don't need a trial. So those three documents have to be signed and submitted to the defense and you should know that they have a very specific time frame in which to make payment after they actually receive those specific documents and assuming those documents have been filled out correctly because there have been many instances where the attorney in their haste in their rush to get these documents out goes ahead and there's some problem with it. Maybe there's a typographical error. Maybe the name of the person that you have sued uh, is incorrect. And they're going to send those documents back to make sure they're corrected first before they go ahead and process the settlement. So in that instance, assuming all the documents are prepared correctly, the defense has three weeks from the time in which they receive all those closing papers in which to make payment. But that doesn't answer the question I raised in the beginning of this video. How do you know when the insurance company is sending out your check to your attorney? The answer is, at the time that they send out your check, they are required, in New York, they are required to also send you a letter letting you know, hey, by the way, Mr. Jones, we just sent out your letter, it sent out your letter, we sent out your settlement check to your attorney today. Call him in a few days to see whether he received it. That's what happens. And then within a few days, you will get that letter, and guess what? You can call up your attorney to see whether or not he received that. And in all likelihood, he probably will have. If not that day, then certainly a day or two later. That's how you will know that your attorney has obtained the settlement check from the insurance company. But wait a second. You don't get the check mailed directly to you, in case you didn't know that. The check is not made only to you. In fact, the check is made out both to you and your attorney. And you might be wondering why. It's your case. Why is it made out to both of you? primarily for fraud reasons, because they don't want to make sure, no, let me try it again. They don't want to send you a check and risk the possibility that you don't pay your attorney. So instead, they name your attorney as the person that the check is being made out to, together with you, which means that both of you have to actually sign it, or you have to give your attorney permission to sign it on your behalf in order to then deposit it into an attorney trust account that we call an attorney escrow account. Then it will take a few days to clear, depending upon the size of the check, as well as whether this is from an out-of-state bank. Once that check clears, now the attorney will be able to get repaid all of the expenses that he paid out on your case. The attorney will then be able to obtain his fee, and now you will get your check. The remaining balance is what you will receive.
And at that point, the attorney will call you up and say, okay, Mr. Jones, your check is ready to be picked up. Come on in, we'd love to hand it to you. That's how you know. First, you're going to get a letter from the insurance company letting you know the check has been sent out. Then, once it does come in, the attorney is going to have you come into the office to sign it, to endorse it, just like he will have to, or you'll give him permission to do that on your behalf, so you don't have to make a trip into the office just to sign it. And then, a few days later, after that check clears, then and only then will you be able to get your settlement check. So why do I share this quick information with you? I share it with you because I know you wanted to see the background where I'm walking right now. Well, no, I understand that you likely have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, if your matter did happen in New York and you're thinking about bringing a lawsuit but have not done so because you still have questions that need to be answered, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. You know I answer questions like yours every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a fantastic day.